Good day, and welcome to Lesson 55 in our study of the Book of Romans. We're going to start Chapter 16 and do only the first two verses. Now this is apparently is a chapter which some people just skip over and don't read really look at, but there's still lessons to be learned in these words. Paul has given us throughout the chapters of this book the reasons why people should accept Christ, why people need Christ in their lives, why people need salvation. And then he's given us the ways in which Christ has enabled us to receive salvation and what salvation has done for us. And then he's gone on further to tell us how once we are saved, once we have accepted Christ, once we have been accepted into the church family, how we should act towards other people, towards enemies, towards friends, towards government, etc. And now these are some examples of some of the people with whom he's worked, some of the people probably whom he's taught, some people with whom he's had relationships with in the church. And these give us examples of how this all has come together. Paul was a person who also liked people as well as being an intellectual and a, and a person who knew the law, who knew the rules and regulations. He also was a person who knew people and who kept acquaintance with many people. And in those days, it wasn't as easy to to keep acquaintances and to keep in touch with people as it is today. In those days, you could almost picture him going down to the docks and meeting ships coming in and meeting people and asking them about people he knew in other areas, other lands and places where he had developed and started churches. And this chapter tells and relates to some of these people. And in these first two verses of chapter 16, he refers to a person by the name of Phoebe. Now Phoebe is really a name for a pagan goddess. It's another name for the goddess uh, Venus. But although this now lady had been a pagan apparently, and a Gentile and a pagan, she now is a Christian. And she was involved heavily in the church. And even though she had become Christian, she kept her original name. You don't have to change your name in order to serve Christ. So he is saying, I commend to you Phoebe, our sister. Letters of commendation, he was writing or indicating that he was giving her, giving to the people in Rome, commendation, a recommendation of this lady Phoebe. Now, in, even in those days, there are many people who took advantage of the Christian church, of the Christian gatherings, who prayed on them, who got into the into their organization and bodies by surreptitious means. There were people who did it not in the best means and manner and with the best intents. So in those days when someone came from one area to another, it was often necessary or certainly suggested that they keep with them letters of commendation, letters of recommendation. And this is what Paul is saying here, I commend to you Phoebe, our sister. We must remember that Paul has never been to Rome. He's not in Rome. He's in Corinth. And he's writing to the Romans. This entire epistle was written to the Romans in anticipation of him coming to that city. So he's now sending this Phoebe, this person, from, he said, our sister. What he means is our sister in Christ. It's often if we are members of the family of God, and if we consider our God our Father, then we are often considered brothers and sisters of each other. And in many places, people in a church will often call each other brother and sister. So he's saying, this is his spiritual sister. I commend to you, Phoebe, our sister, who is a servant of the church in St. Crea. Now, St. Crea was a uh, 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 area close by Corinth, perhaps attached to Corinth or an individual town, but it was a seaport of the city of Corinth. 
And it was only about three or four, uh, about seven or eight miles from the city of Corinth itself. And so he was recommending this person who was a servant in, of the church in St. Crea. Servant, really, the word for servant in the Greek language is really the word from where we, we get the word deacon. So she was, in essence, a deaconess in the church at that area. And that means that she did many things for the church. She may have helped with the poor, she may have helped with setting up uh, assemblies, helped with communions, helped with, with events that took place, festivals or weddings or burials. She had helped in many ways in the church. And this is why he says she was a servant in of the church in St. Crea. And then he said that he gives his commendations that you, the people in Rome, would receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints, in a manner worthy of a, of a Christian sister, in a manner worthy of someone who has done a lot for Christ, who has done a lot in the church, who has been honorable, who has been dedicated. And this, he, he commends her, he wants her to be accepted in a worthy manner because of what she has done, of who she is, of her relationship with Christ. He said that you may receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints. And also a sister in whatever business she has need of, need of you. It is felt that Phoebe was probably a businesswoman. She probably was not a poor person. But in order to go from Corinth to Rome, it was a multi-day journey, sometimes with many hardships, sometimes with, with many harrowing problems. And she would be dependent upon other people, both for lodging, probably for food, for protection. And this is what he's saying. He commends her that she would be assisted in whatever business she has need of, in whatever way she has need, that people would be kind to her and would assist her and would give her the benefit of everything that they have. That because she was such a good person and such a helper in the church of in Centria, Paul was giving her the highest recommendations and it is also felt that this was also the means by which Phoebe was the means by which Paul delivered the only copy of his manuscript of this book the book of Romans the how he delivered it to the church in Rome Phoebe apparently carried the manuscript which Paul had written so Paul trusted her Paul had great respect for her. Paul had a great deal of relationship with her and he felt very strongly spiritually towards her and he wanted her to be dealt with in the best possible manner by those people with whom she traveled and with, who, and with the people that she met and that they would assist her in whatever business she has need of, she had ever, whatever business she has need of that you would assist her. For indeed she has been a helper of many and of myself also. Not only did she do a lot of work in the church, but she was a helper to other people. She took, apparently took pains to assist others when assistance was needed, perhaps to accompany others when accompaniment was needed, to go with others, to assist others others, not just in the church, which, which she was a servant, but to assist others. And she also assisted Paul, because apparently Paul knew her quite well. So Paul is saying this, this is the person, this is one of the people, this is the one of the individuals with whom Paul had a great, a great and kind relationship with in the church. And he was now commending her with all he could to the citizens at Rome, to accept her, to assist her, to be friends with her, and to support her as much as possible. And he trusted her enough, apparently, to take this manuscript of this book to Rome for him. 
There was no text machines in those days, no way to fax, no way to get copies, extra copies made, no way to transport this instantly like we do by email. This had to be carried, written out by hand, and carried, probably the only copy that he had, carried to the church at Rome. So this was a great trusting that he had. And this is why he's saying, I commend to you Phoebe. He calls, him our, he calls her our sister, our sister in Christ. She has been a helper to Paul. She has been a helper to many. She has been a servant in the church. She has been considered a sister. And this is how we should really look at other people that we deal with in the churches that we have. We should consider them brothers and sisters. We should consider them, we should consider and hope that they would be helpful in the church and that we can be helpful to them as they would be helpful to others. This is the great commandment. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. And this is really what people should be doing in the church. So he's saying, this Phoebe, a deaconess, a deacon in the church in Centria, a servant of the church, a friend of Paul's, a friend of his, who has been a helper to him and as well as to many others. He really wants to give her the best recommendation he can. He's commending her to the church at Rome, to the people in Rome, that they would receive her with the utmost kindness, the utmost benefactorial spirit, the utmost uh, support that they could give, and that she would be welcomed into their group. This is the way it should be for all people in the Christian church. And this really is the, in the, in the beginning of the people he's going to talk about and recommend throughout the rest of this chapter as we finish off this chapter and we finish off the book of Romans. So we're only going to do these two verses because it's important to understand Paul's relationship and how he feels towards this woman who has been a servant, a helper to him, a servant in the church, and one to whom he wants to give the highest commendation and the honor of taking this book, this treatise, this epistle to Rome. So I'm going to leave it there for today. We're going to get further into this chapter next week, but that's enough for today. I hope you understand it and I hope you accept it. I hope it's been of some help to you. Anyway, that's sufficient for today. I'll say bye for now and hope to see you again next week.